Edit the content of email templates. After you have created a template, change its content. What you see here is only a guide, so feel free to customize templates to best suit your needs. To edit a content block, click it. Content properties such as text and link color, line height and letter spacing, and padding are adjusted in the Properties panel. The editing toolbar appears for more options. Make font and alignment changes, add bulleted or numbered lists, and change text and background colors. You can also create links and insert merge fields or data tables. For now, replace the text. Next, change the formatting. To add elements such as images, buttons, social media links, videos and dividers, click Content and then drag and drop a content block onto your template. If you need to change the structure of your template to accommodate more content, you can first add a row. Rows are divided into columns. If you don't choose the right number and size of columns at first, no worries. You can customize the column layout. It's usually best to stick with two columns at most in an email. Next, click Content, then drag and drop a content block onto the new row. After adding an image block, Click Browse. You can save files in the default folder, or you can create new folders to help organize. Upload an image from your computer by dragging and dropping it into the file manager, or click Upload. Click Search for free photos to access available stock images. For now, choose an image you have already uploaded to the file manager. Click Insert. Change properties such as width, alignment, and alternate text as needed. You should always include alternate text for accessibility. To edit the image once it has been inserted, click the image, then click Apply Effects and More. Select an Edit option and make any desired changes. Click Save. Edit other content blocks as needed. Note that the footer information is pulled from your organization settings and cannot be changed here. Undo or redo actions to your template by clicking the Undo and Redo buttons. Restore your template to a previous state by clicking the History icon. Up to 15 of your most recent changes during your current session are available. Click the version you'd like to restore to. Check how your messaging measures up by clicking Readability Test. Preview your layout to ensure it displays as intended. Click Preview Layout. The desktop version is displayed first. Click Mobile to see how your template displays on mobile devices. Click Save and Keep Editing to save your changes.